Hi, I just got done reading this book and so I want to talk about it. It's Joyful Sally by Michelle Rockwood. So I first found Michelle or saw her a webinar that she hosted. I immediately signed up for one of the courses she was offering. Found out she had a book coming out, so I got on the waiting list um, because I like to have the physical book in my hand and um, I just want to talk about this book. I love this book. So I have like so many highlighted parts in this book. I don't know if you can actually see any of that, but um, I went through and like highlighted things that are so have been so impactful. Um, one of the big things I think for like a lot of coaches and stuff that I know or service providers is that sales can be the hardest part sometimes of the business and it doesn't usually feel very good. So Michelle in this book actually shows you how to use the skills you already have, um, like deep listening and really good question asking and building connection with clients and being heart centered to actually um, do that with your sales calls where it feels just like an extension of what you're already doing and it feels good um, instead of like what you might have experienced in sales before I know that I have, like someone being really pushy or um, misleading or not telling you the complete truth and, and they put a lot of pressure on you and it just doesn't feel good. Um, so so Michelle really like shows you that, that that's not actually really even a, a good path to follow um, with sales. So I would highly encourage you, like if you're stuck on, on the sales process, that you have been using or that you have learned is, is to check this out and see like what, um, how, how different it is, like how you can do this differently. A few highlights, I just wanted to say, um, she also adds in some, some stuff that's not necessarily completely sales. She adds in ways to find clients. Um, and that's really, really key. Like if you are a, a, a coach, um, that's the number one thing. Like, well, how am I gonna find people who need my services? So she shares some ideas in this book. And just like with sales, it's really, really important that getting clients feels good to you in whatever way that you choose. Um, otherwise your business might not get off the ground before it even starts, right? Um, and then another thing she shared is like how to identify a misaligned client. And that is some information that I could have used earlier. I thought that was extremely valuable. And the last little thing I want to say, um, other than like the, all the sales aspect of it, is she talks about um, money, which so, so much, <laughs> there's so much going on with money for so many people. But she talks about too, like how we can um, get into other people's pockets and decide what people can afford or what they will pay for. And that's not actually really our place. And so that's actually really helpful. And she teaches you how she teaches you how not to do that. So if you're kind of stuck in your sales and it's really not feeling good, especially if you're someone who's maybe would call yourself more heart-centered or service focused, and you you're not aligned with maybe what you've seen in traditional sales, like pushy tactics, tactics, excuse me, like or high pressure tactics, things like that. Um, I highly recommend um, checking this out.